Welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Today we're going to talk about a Vortex Viper HD binocular series. My name is Gaspar. My name is Theodor. Hello. So Theodor, can you tell us something about the history of this binoculars? Of this series? Well, uh, it used to be one of the best series of uh, Vortex binoculars all the way until Razer HD came out. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the third generation of the Viper HD. Uh, the first generation was just Viper without the HD and it was produced I think until 2012 or something like that. Okay. Uh, then in 2012 the new HD or 2013, somewhere in that period, I have to be honest that uh, it's been really a long time so I don't remember exactly when the new uh, Viper HD came out. Uh, and those binoculars were all the way from 2013, I would say, to 2018. Uh, they were um, one of the best sellers of, uh, of Vortex because they were uh, uh, just above uh, 500 euros mark and they really offered a lot of quality. They were made in Japan. And now in 2018 and now in 2019, normally still, the new Viper HD third generation is out, or the right, second right. generation of the Viper HD uh, binoculars. Basically the same models, uh, however a lot of things were improved, uh, so the build quality is among them, uh, and the materials used are different, so I would say the fit and finish is better on these binoc binoculars, the new ones. What was also uh, improved is the optical performance uh, since uh, the previous Viper HD were very well known for their sharpness and uh, nice light transmission rate. However, they had a narrow field of view. Right. The new, the current Viper HD models, they have a wider field of view and better optical performance. Uh, it is true, however, that they are not uh, made in um, Japan anymore. Now they are assembled in the, in the Philippines. However, as we are able to see with many different types of optics, the um, made in Philippines, products made in Philippines are becoming better and better and better. And these Viper HD binoculars are a really nice um, addition to this. Right, so what is the model range? At the moment we have 42 millimeter uh, pair of binoculars, so uh, 8 by 42 and 10, uh, 10 by 42, so these two, and then 50 millimeter binoculars and it's 10 by 50 and 12 by 50. Uh, in the old series, in the first Viper without the HD acronym, there was also 8.5 by right, right. 50, which is currently lacking, uh, so it's not in the model range. Right. Can you tell us some more uh, general features of this series? So they have a central uh, focusing knob like like we are used on all the right, right. roof prism uh, binoculars. They have uh, Schmidt and Pechan type of prisms, which is also standard. Uh, right eyepiece has the diopter setting, which is lockable. You have to pull it up to set the diopter for the right eye to compensate the difference between the left and the right eye. And then when you push it down, you lock the position. Uh, retractable eyepieces with three different positions really nicely made with a, a soft rubber um, uh, soft rubber uh, surface where you touch the, the eyepieces, uh, the, uh, the rest is made out of uh, high quality plastic. Um, what is also very nice are the new flip up covers which are I would say nicely made or better made than most of the competitors in this class. Uh, you're able you're able to see that they uh, they go inside of the barrel, not the outside. So they have oh, more yeah. grip and uh, they function better. What is also a feature, they're really compact. The Viper HD was always compact, one of the most compact binoculars and they still are. Uh, single bridge, single hinge design and Vortex VIP warranty. This is also very important. Uh, what you're also able to see is that they have a nice uh, thumb rests on the on the housings so ergonomically they're really well made and also all the materials so they they look high quality right uh, right binoculars are there any other strong sites of, uh, i would say binoculars? field of view field of view especially compared to the previous uh, series is uh, is it's been greatly improved what is also a big thing is that you get really nice accessories 
with these binoculars. Uh, so you get this uh, uh, pack, uh, a nice carrying uh, bag, which is, I would say, one of the best you're able to see. And with all the straps and everything for carrying, this is a nice addition because Vortex used to sold and still is selling these uh, bags separately as an accessory for other binoculars and they're hugely popular because of the quality and how they are made and so on. Now with the Viper HD, they just included into the package. Right, I would right. say this is, this is a nice addition so that they think about small things which really affect the way how you use the binoculars. Because with this bag, when you're going outside, you, you're really using it. With, with other manufacturers, when you get a, I would say a bag which is not uh, that nice, people usually just leave the bag at home and never use it again. With this bag, right. definitely going to carry it around. And it also protects the binocular itself. Yeah, true. So we talk about the good things. Let's talk about the things that could be done slightly better. Well, in this price range, it's almost hard to find any flaws. I would say with, uh, with all of those who wear eyeglasses, like myself, the eyepieces, they don't retract uh, deep enough. So with some models, I have a little bit of problems of getting the binoculars close enough to, to push them on my glasses to get the full image. And I would say this is the, this is the only real problem, uh, the only small flaw which could have been done better in the future. Everything else, I would say, I'm quite amazed for this uh, price point, what they're able to produce and especially if it's covered by the Vortex VIP warranty because in these binoculars you, you get an HD glass so we know this is a commercial uh, acronym but still you get a good optical performance you get high quality um, uh, build and body and so on you also get this uh, how it's called the XR lens coating it's like a, a armor or they also have the okay. coating which is called armor tech so the coatings which protect the outer surfaces of the lenses in the eyepieces and in the, in the objective, uh, objective lenses so that you don't scratch these uh, 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 surfaces uh, as easily as with other binoculars. And you, all, you have everything, I would say, below 1000 euros. This is, this is the main strong point of these binoculars. Um, and they are argon pur uh, purged with argon. So no internal fogging or anything similar. Um, you get a good pack for a decent amount of money. Plus awesome accessories. Yeah, yeah. and the warranty. The warranty, yes. Okay, so if you found this useful, check this other video. Uh, we have uh, more in-depth reviews of each of this model. And thank you. Thank you.